Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, long time no see once again. Um, today I'm going to actually be doing my Thanksgiving Day look that I wanted to do with y'all and didn't get done. Um, of course, four days before Christmas, but hopefully I can get this done and then figure out what I'm going to do for Christmas and New Year's Eve and try to get those filmed. So we're just going to do a look because I feel like doing this one. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been with me, thank you. And if you don't like me or my videos, please don't fucking watch me. I'm Rarebee's cup of tea. Super fucking okay with it. All right. So I'm going to stick something on my face that I forgot to do already. And it is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I'm just going to set this on my skin uh, while we do eyeshadow. So it can soak in. And I've been liking this a lot. Look how good my skin looks right now, you guys. Your girl has been having good skin days, which sucks. I should be doing more makeup videos when I'm having good skin days, but I can't, I'm too fucking lazy. I can't be bothered to do anything anymore lately. Um, yeah, my hair is going to be in the way, of course. That's okay. Um, I'm going to prime my lids with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. Do you know, back in the day when I first started making videos, I would say the Painterly Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and I would say it completely wrong. Painterly Paint Pot and those are two different shades. Uh, you know, didn't know at the time. Oh, that's what we need is my mirror closer. Hold on. I didn't put this close enough. Woo! All right, here we go. Prime both eyes with you guys real quick, and then I'll do one eye uh, on camera and then do the other one off camera to save some time. Because, uh, you know, I still don't know how to edit. Um, but everything's been going pretty good. Uh, my brother's doing good. He's working and staying clean. Um, he's on a methadone program, so he's, he's doing really good. Um, and yeah, my youngest son got a job at Tesla. So he's been working on Teslas, which he absolutely loves. Um, the puppy's getting huge, uh, almost too fucking big. I don't know if he's got like a growth spurt or what's going on. He's huge. Um, definitely <laughs> a lot bigger than we thought he was going to be. I'm going to set it with this Bare Minerals powder real quick. So, but we're enjoying having him. Um, I had my youngest son just come home for a little longer. I'm not ready for him to live out on his own. It, he is, but, you know, he needs help with the dog and all these things. And I'm just, be at home with me so I know you're safe. He's just a very independent dude and doesn't, you know... He's ready to grow up and move on with his life, and I'm not ready yet for that. <laughs> so I'm going to work out of a couple different palettes. I grabbed the Thirsty palette. Um, this one we got in BoxyCharm by Kristen Dominique. I have a Fenty palette because I'm using some Fenty and NARS products today, but I don't know if I'm going to end up using it. And then I got my Natasha Denona Safari palette. I'm going to first start off with the shade Desert Date because um, it's a lighter, lightest color that I'm going to use for this eye look. And we're going to get going. Clean my brush off. Yeah, I wanted to do this with you guys on Thanksgiving and didn't get it done. So um, I was like, I'm going to fucking do that look though in a video. So here we are. All right, I'm going to take Desert Date. I'm going to work with this eye, I think, with you guys. Also, my eyebrows are uh, large and in charge today. They are on a level of their own. I got tired of fighting with them. They just kept getting bigger and bigger, and so I gave up. And this is what we got. It sucks because you have your... I have my eyebrows tattooed on, but I didn't have the little things, you know, and so I have to do that myself, and my brows are really small, naturally. Um, so I try to give them some, you know life going on a little bit be, be a little bigger than they are but uh i don't know i have such a small forehead that big brows don't really look good on me i don't i, I think i've come to that conclusion so i'm just kind of messily throwing this on here i just need it so i can blend my other shades all right i was just going to use this whole palette and then um but i actually really like the colors in this thirsty palette um, these two at the end here, and I think I might go on the lid with one of these shades. I don't know. So I'm going to go in next with this shade, which is called Kumquat. 
very very Jeffrey very fitting <clears throat> pardon me oh the fight with the brushes so yeah I'm gonna go on with kumquat load that up on there pretty good and then stick that right below the transition so I'm obviously going for a kind of dirty orange uh, look you know like what's that color or what's how do you describe that I don't know burnt orangey maybe yeah so we're just gonna do that in the little crease it's gonna be a pretty easy look as all of my looks usually are pretty easy try not to you know make them too complicated in case anybody would want to recreate them I don't know um, I'm gonna go in with with no product but just blend that a little bit with whatever's left on the brush yeah and then whatever's left on this brush okay and then the next shade I think I'm gonna go into is stroke stroke sorry um, and these these two colors in the palette are very very similar um, like really similar so I don't even know if this will make oh yeah it does a little bit okay do, 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 do. I've been kind of burnt out of like really bright colorful looks lately I've been trying I guess kind of mute myself down a little bit I don't think that will last forever um, I'm sure I'll get back to my bright colorful looks but I just been kind of I don't know oh also I ate a 50 milligram gummy of weed before I started this um, and it's kicking in so there's that I thought I should tell you guys in case I sound a little weird uh, it's because I am fucked up but it's Saturday and everybody drinks and does all sorts of fun shit and I don't so I like my weed gummies um, they do open my third eye, which is, uh, sometimes is a little scary. Um, one night I laid here paranoid just thinking about every bad thing I'd ever done in my life. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to hell. But I woke up and I was fine. <laughs> I'm going to go back into Desert Date uh, from the Natasha Denona palette. And just make sure I'm blending these so they don't have too harsh of edges. I want a green gradient effect. Is that what we call it? Yeah. And then back into the Jeffrey palette. I don't know why I do this to myself with this many palettes, but that's what I do, I guess. All right. And then I'm just going to darken this a little bit more, build it up kind of. Mm, why does it look so different to you guys? I don't know if I like my new... Um, camera on my phone it's just different I got the Galaxy I got the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus um, which I love the phone it's easier for me to hold on to um, but the camera is definitely different I've noticed not a lot just enough for me to notice mm, yeah something like that I just want this out, outer bits to be blended more and it's not doesn't look as blended to you guys as it does in real life. Like in real life, it's very blended, but I'm going to mix stroke and kumquat uh, just to go on the outer right here. My eyes have changed a lot over the last few years of filming. Um, I get dry patches and my eyes have been watering a lot and I've had to use things to make it so my eyes don't water so much. And yeah, I don't know. Weird. Okay, and then next I am going to go into this really deep shade called Drizzle. And I put that on the outer corner. Darken that little guy up a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. See, just a little bit. So we got some depth and dimension. That's what we're calling it. Yeah, depth and dimension. It always looks better once you get lashes on anyway, so 
If it looks a little crazy now, it's probably because it does look a little crazy, but we get some shit going on it soon. All right, I'm not gonna do a lot of that. Just a little bit. Oh, that doesn't look right to you guys. I don't like the way that looks. God damn it. Does not look the same way in real life as it does to you. And real life, it looks very blended and very cohesive. And on camera, it looks choppy as fuck. And I don't know why. Maybe I have my light up too high. I don't know. But, well, that's real life. You just gotta blend and do what you can to make it the way you want it. I don't know. Whatever. We're gonna leave it and say fuck it. It is what it is. Hopefully lashes will make it look better. Um, I'm looking for my MAC brush real quick so I can- hold on, let me grab some. Okay. I need my little, my little baby Mackie brush. I think I'm gonna use this Mario Badescu Orange Blossom Spray. Spray my brush real quick. And then I'm going to put, hmm, I think, plunge. Yeah, plunge. I put this color all over the lid. I think this is what I did on Thanksgiving, I'm pretty sure. I went and stayed at my sister's house because my sister went back to Iowa where my dad's side of the family is all at. And I was with the kids for like a week and I got the flu and a cold all at the same time. It was horrific. I thought I was going to die. I wanted to die because it was horrific. Um, but I'm actually starting to feel better, finally. Um, I just, I had a cough like you wouldn't believe. I really did think I was dying. The flu sucks when you're already sick. It literally took everything out of me. I had like four videos I wanted to record while I was at my sister's house. And I had one plan with my niece, Rosa, and I was so sick. The day she came home, I literally woke up and it just came back to my house and went to bed. Because I could barely, like, breathe. It was just a whole mess. Um, next, I'm going to go in with Snatched. Um, I'm just going to stick this kind of on the outs because it's a little darker. Just a little bit. It's not even how I want it to look. It doesn't look the same way it did when I did it last time. Oh, fuck. Well, that's what it looks like. I'm going to just deal with it. Um, okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of stroke and drizzle mixed together and just stick that on the outer bit. A little bit. Please look more blended to you. Oh, I'm just bitching in this video about how much it doesn't look blended. I swear to God, in real life, it's blended. It pissed me off. All right, that's the way it looks. Okay, very simple, easy shit. Very easy shit. Okay, um, I'm going to quickly do my lashes and eyeliner. Um, I'm going to use the Fenty Fly Liner. I think that's what's called. Best I can see. Does that look even, you guys? Ugh, I don't know. Hopefully lashes is going to save it. I wore this on Thanksgiving and my sister's like, ooh, that's so pretty. It just does not look the same on camera as it does in real life. It's pissing me off. This is such a good eyeliner. I actually really like this eyeliner. I can't do eyeliner to save my life, but I actually like that one. It's, it's good. All right, I'm going to use the... Climax, I almost called this the wrong thing, by NARS Mascara. Just do a little something, something. It's crazy when you don't wear lashes for like a couple weeks, how long my lashes get. And then I put lashes on them and pull them all back out again. <laughs> okay. Very simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this off camera. And I think the lashes I'm going to use are Tarte, Glamazonian. I don't know if that blue looks really... I uh, should have cleaned those, huh? Uh, these ones or... No, I'm going to wear these ones. Okay, let me get this other shit done. I'll be right back. Good lord. 
All right, we got all that done. Finally, it took me 25,000 hours, but we got her done. Okay, next I am going to go in with a little bit of Milk um, Hydro Grip. Is that what it's called? Hydro Grip Primer. Just a little bit. I turned down my ring light a little bit just to help. I don't know if it did or not, but. I tried um, and then I'm gonna go right in with foundation I'm not gonna do a lot of primer today I'm gonna mix the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation with uh, the Fenty whatever the fuck this is called I'm gonna mix these up and get them on my face and I'll be right back no one wants to see foundation it's boring I'll be right back all right we got that on I like that combination together um, and I don't need a lot of it to do the job, so which is nice. So I'm just going to make sure I got everywhere pretty decent. Oh. Could be better, could be worse, right? Right. Um, next, I'm going to do concealer. And I'm going to mix two as well because I'm fucking extra as extra can be. Um, and I like, I just like the NARS and Fenty products mixed together. I just do. And I like them. I can't, what do you want me to say? I like them. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Radiant NARS concealer. This is just a little bit more hydrating. Um, and the Fenty one isn't as hydrating, just in my opinion. Um, I'm a very dry hoe, so I'm often looking for hydrating products um yeah so and then i'm gonna use the fenty one over that why am i using the viewfinder to do this i will regret it probably i might move my mirror over here so hopefully that'll be better all right and then i'm gonna mix this in I often go over my nose with more concealer because I blow my nose a lot. I'm always touching that part of my face. I don't know why. Make sure you get your inner corners right there because they were looking a little cray. Yep. Yeah, so not nothing really bad to report. Everything's been going pretty good. Going to my sister's for Christmas. Uh, and yeah. This the my son got rear-ended um Thanksgiving weekend and the girl didn't have insurance. So we're dealing with that. I mean she, we think she does, but she has the general and they want all this bullshit. I don't know, it's been like three weeks since his car's been damn near totaled and we haven't gotten anywhere. And our insurance will fight or will make him a, uh, because he's young, even though it wasn't his fault. If we don't have someone to put the claim on, it goes against my son, which sucks because he was rendered, but that's just, I guess the way the shitty world works. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of this NARS bron uh, liquid bronzer. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and hopefully not get it everywhere because, uh, oh shit. I should have brought my brushes over closer. Clear, clear? No, closer. Should have brought them over closer. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna do this. I'm not good at talking. I literally go all day without saying anything because I'm here a lot by myself. And then my husband likes to come home and watch TV and do his thing. He likes to work out. Um, he works out a lot actually. And so I'm just here a lot by myself, and I'm not a big person to talk on the phone. I mean, I will, but I'm, I don't know. I'm actually a really quiet person. I don't really talk a lot. <laughs> so when I get on here, sometimes it's hard for me because, you know, in my real life, I don't really say a lot. I don't really have a lot to say either, so. Okay. I smell like a fart. I wonder if one of my dogs is in here and farted. It wasn't me. I'd just own it if I did it. I'm not embarrassed, but. 
I don't know what that smell is. Anyways, okay, we're gonna go into the Fenty Truffle Contour Stick. Right there. This one blends out pretty easy. Um, I do like it. I like all the products I have. Usually if I don't like something, I just take it back. But I like everything I have for the most part. Some more than others. I'm already at 20 minutes, good lord. These simple eye looks should not take this long, but I guess they just make, they do for me. So I hope everybody's going to have a good Christmas this year. I'm being more low-key this year because we had a huge Christmas last year. Um, it was the last one before my son turned 18, and they just want different kind of stuff these days, so their gifts are more expensive. They don't need as much. They just want more expensive gifts. So, this year I'm more focused on just doing for them. I, I got a fucking Lexus, a Louis Vuitton purse, a bunch of shit last year. Like I got spoiled big time last year. So this year I'm keeping a little bit more low key. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to use this NARS blush, cream blush in Torrid used it in a while hopefully it doesn't Ooh, so much comes out like so much and you don't even need that much see i'm gonna have to wipe some of that off those nars blushes will last you forever because you literally don't barely need any this is supposed to have more of an orange undertone and it's pulling a little bit pinker on camera oh well peachy Okay, there we are. See how much I had left. You can use kind of a waste, but whatever. All right, now I'm gonna go back in, try to blend out my eyes the best I can, which is literally about pointless these days. Make sure I'm good. Okay, and then I'm going to get this Fenty powder out. I actually really like this powder, even though it has a bit of a smell to it. I um, actually don't mind it. And once I spray setting spray on it, it damn near goes away. But this is in lavender. It's true what they say, those products really do remind you of like your grandma. <laughs> they do for me. Grandma was a wealthier lady, but lived very not wealthy. I mean, she did. She lived in a nice house and had nice things, but she um, was left a lot of money throughout her life by aunts and husbands and uh, all sorts of stuff. So she always had a fat bank account. Whenever I needed help when I was a kid growing up, I'd go to my grandma and she'd always bail me out if I got in trouble. But I always had to pay her back. That was kind of her thing. She didn't want to. She wanted to teach us responsibility. So. Um, I didn't have to do it too often. But I was young. I made mistakes. And I would need my grandma's help. Sometimes. <laughs> I think we all do sometimes. Um, okay. I think she'd be proud of me now though. Just because. We, we're doing pretty dang good for ourselves. All right, I'm going to go into this Fenty bronzer, powder bronzer, which looks like that, in the shade Private Island. I like this bronzer, but it's definitely not my favorite. Um, it's just not. I feel like it takes too much building up. Some products are great for that, you know, like it's good to build up your blush and things, but um, I always, I'm heavy-handed, so for me, sometimes it gets irritating to have to build something up a bunch. I'm sure for all you normal people out there that don't want to put, you know, 20 pounds of makeup on first thing, you'd like that. And I'm going to go into all oh, these brushes. The brush situation is only getting worse, you guys. It's only getting worse. I'm going to go into this MAC 
It's like a contouring, kind of reminds me of the Anastasia contouring palette, like the kit. I'm just going to go into some contouring shades. Go a little bit right here. I like to bring mine up to my ear. Not a lot, just a little. Make sure you blend it in good. So who's getting excited for Christmas? I, I'm just not this year. I don't know why. I don't know why. I could just be fine if it just went on past me. Sometimes I get like that though. Like not every year I'm in the best mood for Christmas. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go into this Nars cheek palette. I'm gonna mix um, this very. I think I'm actually just gonna use this one since the blush was. Yeah. Go into that one, I think. Actually, I'm going to mix a little bit of this one in there because I can't help myself. There we go. There's a little more pigment. <laughs> Hooker style. It's a lot, I know, but that's the way I like it. So judge me if you must. Okay, and then I'm going to take a powder brush and just kind of do one of those guys. And we're almost done, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. um, Alright, I think I'm going to spray my face and then finish the under eyes. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Ooh, I could shower in this and be just fine. Dry, dry, dry. Okay. And then, let's see. Let me get my life together for a minute and get these palettes ready. Um, I'll be right back. Hold on. Well, that just pissed me off. Jesus. So I have this NARS um, sharpener. And I went to sharpen my NARS cold pencil. And look what the fuck it did to it. And now it's all wiggly. Urgh. It makes me so mad. Damn it. Oh well, nothing I can do, I guess, right? So I'm gonna use this in my waterline. Oh, that makes me so mad. I mean, it's working still, thank God, but it looks all fucked up. It's really fucked up. Like it's wiggling around in there. Oh man, that makes me mad. Sorry, you don't need to see that. I'm just torturing myself. Okay. Oh, that makes me so mad. These things are fucking expensive. And I'm going to take a little bit of this Tarte one. I like the roll-up ones. It's a lip liner, but I'm going to use it just below that brown or that black. Just so it holds my eyeshadow a little bit better. a little bit you won't even notice it and then I'm gonna take the Natasha Denona palette and I'm gonna use I think I'm just gonna use the colors out of this instead of grabbing the thirsty one I don't know I say that and then I change my mind <laughs> but I'm gonna go into shit do I have to use the thirsty palette no I'm gonna go into Shea which is that color right there. I'm gonna put that on the outer bits of my eye. Those two browns are almost identical, but one's warmer. Huh. But I gotta be careful when I'm looking in the viewfinder. Okay, come on. Always wants to be so messy. You know what I mean? Always. And then I have to messy, messily do this one to make it match. Bullshit. All right, and then I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna mix um, Tribe and Desert Date, these two. 
to just go under my eye. These colors aren't even going to match, but I don't care. I don't feel like getting out the other palette. <laughs> I'm a true lazy bitch. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Uh, my under eyes are never on point these days. I think I just have too many wrinkles. And I'm literally saving for Botox. For right there. Because I don't want I don't want them. I don't want them. I want them to go away. I hide them. I just hide them. I hide my wrinkles. Okay. And then I think I'm going to do my inner corner highlight. I want to use this fucking shade right here. I think I'm going to just do it. I'm going to use this little guy for my inner corner. I got to use the Fenty palette. I mean, I use mostly Fenty products today. I like this palette, but I really haven't dug into it much. Um, oh, here we fucking go with the brush situation again. I got a few minutes left. Okay. I'm just looking for this little itty bitty brush I love so much. And she always be hiding from me. Always. Da, da, da. And the whole time, it was literally like right underneath my other finger. Wait. Okay, I don't know the name of this shade. Oh, I guess I do. Hold on. It's, uh, Mirage is what it's called from the Fenty palette. I'm just going to stick a little here. Maybe I'm going to mix with the gold one. It don't matter. Do what you like. If you recreate this, do what you like. Does that eye look... Mm, this eye looks more sloppy than this eye, but there's nothing I can do about it now. I'm stuck with it. Okay, that's all we're doing. And then I'm going to do a little bit right here. Give us a little something, something. I'm going to have to do something for that little guy right there because... If they're going to both look messy, they both got to look messy together. There we go. Okay. Good enough. Um, and then I think... Ah, where's my thing at? I'm going to do my highlighter real quick. Oof. Um, and then I'm going to use the Manny MUA. Oh, God, please don't drop everything. I'm going to use this guy. I very well love this thing. Um, 